What's up everybody? Today we're going to be talking about these two guys and with Christmas right around the corner, I know it might seem a little bit early, but in my household, we start decorating for Christmas right after Halloween. So today we're going to be talking about how do you transfer a save game file from, let's just say, your Miu Mini to your Ambernick device or vice versa. Let's say you're playing, uh, like I'm playing Pokemon Unbound on this and I want to switch over and go on this. I'm sure there's easier ways, but I'm going to show you how I do it. Let's go ahead and get started with our MiU Mini. So I've made a decent amount of progress and I don't want to have to redo that. I just want to start from where I'm at. First things first, you're going to save the game. Make sure you save the game in the actual game. Like you want to actually save it, not a quick save. And this is more specifically for a Pokemon game because Pokemon, for some reason, I think it has to do with the real time clock. It, it's kind of iffy. So after you create your save file, we're gonna go ahead and turn this guy off. So we're gonna turn off both devices, all right? See you later, yes, I'll see you later. Uh, we're gonna wait for that light. And then once we're done, we're going to remove the memory cards, all right, for me, this is my second one. I never put any games on this. I keep this kind of stock that way. Uh, when there's new firm uh, firmware updates and everything, I can just, you know, plug it in, redo it. I'd lose nothing. Anyway, so I'm removing my second card. Then I'm going to remove the card from the Miu Mini. I'm going to plug both of these guys into my computer and I'll see you on my desktop. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a new folder on the desktop. I'm going to call this MiU Backup. All right. The next thing we're going to do is go into our SD card. This is our MiU Mini SD card. We're going to go into Saves, Current Profile, and you want to make sure you go into the Saves folder and not the Save States. So we're going to go into the Save States folder find the core that you used for me this was gpsp once we're in the gpsp folder we find the game the save file we're going to go ahead and press Control c or just right click and press copy go into our folder press paste and it's simple as that now make sure you eject that card next we're going to go ahead and place our memory card from the rgx sp the next step is we're going to go ahead and create another folder and we're going to call this rgsp backup we're going to double click this folder and the next thing is we're going to go into saves not states saves underscore ra for retroarch go into roms and we're gonna go into GBA. And for me, I had issues transferring it to the GPSP folder. I'm just gonna go into MGBA and that's because of the real time clock. I think for some reason I couldn't get it to work on the other core. And we're gonna go ahead and copy this file to the folder we just created as a precautionary measure. That way, if anything goes wrong, we will always have our backup. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Go ahead and open up the MiU backup. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna right click. We're going to rename. And down here where it says save, we're just gonna type in SRM and say yes. Then we're gonna drag and drop and replace this file inside the MGBA core folder. Now let's go ahead and remove the card and pop it back into our RGSP and see if it worked. All right, so. Let's go ahead and remove the memory card for the RG35XXSP. Let's go ahead and pop it back in. Okay, so now that we're back in, we're gonna go ahead and go to our game. Next thing you're gonna do is go ahead and open up the game and make sure you are in the MGBA core. If you automatically get sent to say a previous load state, you can go ahead and press menu and just click reset and that will take you back to the main menu. And the next thing we're gonna do is just start the game, load that save file that we had just created. And there we go. We have now transferred the file from the MiU Mini to the RGSP. The next thing I like to do is I like to make a new save state. That way, next time I open this up, I'll have the correct save states 
on this system. And there you have it. That is how you transfer save states. At least that's how I've figured out how to transfer save states. And once again, I couldn't do this on the uh, GPSP core for some reason. It just didn't work. If you know how to do it, let me know in the comments. But this is currently how I transfer my save states back and forth between the devices. For the other way around, let's say you're trying to go from this device to the MiU Mini, you're just going to save the SRM file to an SAV file. It's just doing everything the same way, only backwards. So I hope this helps somebody out there. Uh, I know I'm going to be enjoying this game uh, on this device today, and that's why I wanted to make this video, and I just needed to transfer a save file, and I didn't want to redo all my progress. Uh, so yeah, once again, thank you so much for watching, and like always, I will see you in the next one.